So, Ty, I mean, can you believe Hunter Biden gets convicted on all counts by a jury in a case brought originally by a special counsel who Trump had, uh, you know, initially appointed as a U.S. attorney? <laughs> And somehow uh, it's, 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 it's not fair and square uh, to, to many in the GOP. Uh, can you believe it? Oh, yes, I can sort of believe anything. I mean, it's a really crazy day when Marjorie Taylor Greene is, you know, uh, out there uh, making the rest of us look like geniuses, uh, which she can do on a regular basis. Uh, um, you know, I think it takes away from the gravity of the moment, which is, um, you know, he, he was an addict. It was a sad situation. Yeah. It was tragic. Um, but it, I, it wasn't political. And keep in mind that he did have the opportunity to take accountability for this a year ago. And uh, the plea agreement blew up um, and they decided that they would insist on their day in court and, and they got it. Yeah. Um, but I, th I think it's I think this is, you know, has to be looked at on its own merits. I mean, this was a case. Um, you know, the evidence, as the jurors uh, juror who was interviewed said, was you know overwhelming. Um, you know, and they didn't put politics into it, and they just ruled on what they saw and what they were told, just like Trump's jury did. And uh, I think both juries got it right based on what they were told to do and the evidence that was before them. But I think it is a crazy time because you have the president today, you know, out giving a speech on, you know, on uh, tighter, uh, gun tighter gun controls. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and keeping guns out of the hands of you know felons and people who don't don't deserve him. And, uh, you know, his son's on trial. I think, you know, it's just, it's a crazy time in America. It's uh, full of, full of contradictions, but, yeah. but this was, you know, this was a sad day and, you know, I think it was an appropriate result. I don't think he's going to jail for very long. Um, my off the cuff, um, uh, assessment is, you know, he's scheduled for 10 to 16 months, um, as a first offender and the judge may well go below that and give him a probationary sentence. Who knows? Yeah. Um, it's not going to be a punitive situation. And, and he, then he does have the, you know, serious, uh, tax case, uh, involving In seven and a half million dollars of, the you know, taxes. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that, and that'll be in September and that'll be in the heart of the heart of yeah. the election. So I think it's very hard for, for Republicans to insist that, you know, this is somehow a ruse. Well, I mean, it's sort of amazing. I mean, I, it seemed to me that, that that if you did get a guilty verdict here, that this would be something that everyone could say, okay, well, there was. You can't say that it that it's rigged or jury goes one way or the other, and yet somehow that there's still some finding a way to say that this is basically a, a veil of, as Nancy Mace said, Congresswoman, a veil of fairness, right? That this is all to, to distract you from it, it. It's frightening in some senses. But you mentioned that a convicted felon. Right, cannot have a gun. And obviously, you know Donald Trump. And in this context, we found out today, Ty, that he disclosed in his probation interview that he had three guns. Now, he acquired them legally. Obviously, he's now prohibited from having any as a convicted felon. Were you surprised at all but to hear that Donald Trump owned three guns? Not really. And and I, I think, though, that, you know, people are hyperventilating on this a little bit. I mean, you know, it's, it's sort of ordinary that it would come up in this context, particularly for somebody you know, Donald Trump's not carrying a gun. Uh, I, I never saw him carry a gun. I didn't know him to ever carry a gun. He's got yes, he has a concealed service. carry uh, registration in New York, but you're, but right. just, that's what he has. But, but I, yeah. And I, and you know, I, I, and I understand that. And I think he, you know, obviously he has these guns, and he's going to have to pony them up. Um, but that's what that's sort of really what this process is designed to do: is to get all that, all yeah. that, uh, all those requirements out of the way before he. Uh, uh, can run afoul of any other laws, uh, you know, uh, after the time of being sentenced. Uh, Ty, before you go, also today, Trump asked uh, Eileen Cannon, the judge in Florida, Mar-a-Lago, to dismiss the classified documents case. And if she didn't do that, he asked her to throw out any evidence gathered during the FBI search of Mar-a-Lago, which is sort of confusing and confounding because that appears to be the entire case, as far as uh, most of us understand it. <laughs> right. That's that's actually much of the case. It's actually not quite the entire case, but it's. It's most of the documents, yes, that were uh, that are included in the indictment. Uh, and you know, I mean, the, the worst thing that could happen to him is that she actually does it in advance of trial, because that will certainly be reversed uh, abruptly by the Eleventh Circuit and given them the opportunity. I'm sure that they're dying for, given the circus that she puts on, um, uh, to remove her. All right. Well, Ty, thank you very much as always.